Oh, yeah, that's right. It's time for episode eight of Show Us Your Humvee. Hey guys, it's Sean from Grizzly Targets. You're watching Show Us Your Humvee. In Show Us Your Humvee, we feed your Humvee fix with Humvees from around the world. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our weekly episodes. The purpose of this series is to give you a deeper look into cool Humvees than you would get from a few pictures on social media. To be featured in Show Us Your Humvee, we need at least the year and model of your Humvee, where your Humvee lives, and some background on what makes it cool, like if you know any of your Humvee's history, upgrades you've made, how you use it in a unique way, etc. Send that info to showusyourhumvee at gearreport.com and I'll put it in a future episode of Show Us Your Humvee. We'll start off this week in Litchfield, Maine with this 1989 M1038 Humvee. The story of Jess's Humvee in his own words. I received an inheritance from my mom and dad when they passed. Mom would want me to spend it on something fun, Dad on something practical. I bid on this Humvee from GovPlanet while on the USS Rafael Peralta, that's a DDG-115, in the CPO mess at lunchtime in the spring of 2015. Jess received this M1038 cargo troop carrier with a winch that summer. Jess puts his Humvee to work. It hauls gravel, horses, hay, and he used it to move 100 miles to a new house one trip each week for four months. He's moved four buildings with the winch and pulled a stuck tractor out of a field. It is his plow truck for the winter. And in the summer, he takes it to car shows. Issues Jess has had with his Humvee. The glow plug controller outputs all the time. He didn't want to spend big money for a new box, so he built a new glow plug controller. It has a ninth plug that the controller uses to control the output. Jess has started it in as low as negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. He's replaced the winch motor. The right rear tire hit a rock and pulled the three threads out of the hub. He got a new cover and longer bolts. The thermo switch for the fan failed. But overall, Jess says it's been very reliable. Extras that Jess has added include a 12 volt converter, 360 degree LED lighting, 360 degree camera system, a CB radio, and a maritime radio. Jess, thanks so much for sharing this workhorse of a retired military Humvee. Now we will head out west to Prescott, Arizona. Dale sent a picture of one of his custom Humvees that's decked out with a custom bumper with winch, LED lights all around, a custom roof rack, hard top, what looked to me to be custom doors, bigger tires on civilian wheels. It's a cool truck for sure, but you gotta see this. Dale ain't afraid to get his Humvees wet. Here's a quick splash to get things started. And here we get a first-hand look at what water over the hood looks like. Oh, it's getting deep. Here we go. Ding. Turn on the wipers. I can't see. Oh, whoa. I'm freezing. Oh, man. I can't believe we just drove through that. 
The gray one is a 1990 M998. The camo truck is a 1987 M998. The water shots were made during the filming of their reality TV show called American Metal. The gray Humvee was a SEMA build for the same show. It has a Duramax swap along with GPS, dual air conditioners, five cameras, and so much more. That's it for episode eight of Show Us Your Humvee. Thanks to Jess and Dale for letting us share cool pictures and video of their trucks. If you'd like your Humvee to be featured in Show Us Your Humvee, it's pretty simple. Send some landscape-oriented pictures or a link where I can download some video of you doing cool stuff in your Humvee. Please, video, landscape format. When I get that video, I'm going to work through in the order that I receive them. So if you'd like to be featured sooner, send it in more quickly. For additional instructions on how to submit your Humvee to Show Us Your Humvee, check out the video description down below. It's, is it here? No, down there somewhere.